Well, regarding Merrimack's request, the town says a groundwater test sample from March shows an increase of perfluorooctanoic acid or PFOA, and Merrimack officials say that St. Cobain is at fault. Well, that company says the allegation cherry picks the highest concentration of results and ignores most of the data. New Hampshire's Department of Environmental Services says it will now review a letter from Merrimack to understand officials' concerns. Also today, the state's new drinking and groundwater standards go into effect for four different PFAS chemicals. The maximum standards range between 11 and 18 parts per trillion, which now are among the strictest in the nation. Public water systems must do quarterly tests and their annual average must now be below these new standards. PFAS compounds are unique in that they don't break down either in the environment or in your body and they have a very long what we call a half-life. Once they're inside your body they tend to stay inside your body for a very long time period and that's obviously not something we want to see. The state does not regulate private wells so if you have one officials recommend that you test your water. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.